is use the half angle formula. Could we not have done like our other formula? And would you guys agree with me that 150 degrees plus 45 degrees is the same thing as tangent of 195? Is 150 uh, give us a point that's on the unit circle? Does 45 degrees give us a point on the unit circle? So you could theoretically use the sum and difference angles, right? Correct? But that was from last homework, right? And I'm not asking you to use the sum and difference. I'm asking you to use the half angle formula. So what the half angle formula says, all right, if we're going to use tangent, then of u over 2 is equal to half angle formula. First formula is cosine of u over the sine of u. Okay. So it's saying you, for this, use that formula. You guys agree? Now, let's look at this formula. Tangent of u over 2 equals cosine of u. It's not saying u over 2, cosine of u over 2. Would you guys agree? Not saying that. It's saying u over 2, and then that's u. So then 195, 195 is equal to u over 2. So then, guys, for the formula, though, we need to figure out what u is. So how do we figure out what u is? Yeah, you got to solve for u. So you'd multiply by 2 on both sides. And you obtain? 390. Ooh, 390 degrees. That is it's a big angle, right? But let's think about really how big 390 degrees is. Well, we know all the way around a circle is 360. So how much farther we need to go to get to 390? 30. So 390 degrees and 30 degrees give you the same coordinate points on the unit circle. Would you guys agree? Yes? But it's a little bit easier to use 30 degrees than 390. So when I'm doing this, I'm going to say that's equal to 1 minus the cosine of 30 degrees. I could do the cosine of 390 if I wanted to, but they're the same, they're going to give you the same point. So it's just much easier to use 30. And then I have sine of 30 degrees. Well, crap. What is the sine and cosine of 30 degrees? Here's 30 degrees. Knowing my unit circle, that coordinate point is 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. Would you guys agree with me based on your knowledge of the unit circle? John, good? Yes? Good. So then Marty will say that the cosine here is 1 minus 1 half all over square root of 3 over 2. OK, let's look over here. guys. Do you agree with me that I have multiple little fractions here, right? I have a fraction inside of a fraction, right? Yes? So what did I do when I wanted to get rid of a fraction inside of a fraction? I multiplied by that little denominator. So over here, no, don't do it, don't do it. Over here, what should I multiply by? 2. And if I multiply by 2, on the top and the bottom, I now have 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. 2 times 1 half. I'm sorry, what happens in this? Huh? It's 1 minus cosine of u. Cosine of that. Cosine is equal to. Oh, well. I can just, I'm sorry, I can just subtract this, right? So why don't we just subtract that? Dang it, I did it again. I knew I was wrong. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I, I didn't get the same answer last class, but I was like, what is going on? Yes, do not make that mistake like I did. I was thinking of pi over 3 again. 30 degrees is not pi over 3. 30 degrees is pi over 6, right? Thank you. I was like, this is not the same answer I had last class period. The answer is square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half, right? Be careful when you're doing this. This is one of the more common mistakes people do. So just be very careful with that. Um, so anyways, I did make a mistake there. This is 1 minus square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. However, what, are we, what should we do then? We should still do the same thing, right? I just had them switched up. So I'd multiply by 2 over 2. 
Thank you for that catch. Therefore, I get 2 minus the square root of 3 over 1. Which, ladies and gentlemen, is just 2 minus the square root of 3. OK? Make sense?